Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and welcome to today's video, which is very exciting because I have the new Lisa Eldridge skin tint in my pores. I have two of them, in fact, a lucky me. This is the Seamless Skin Enhancing Tint. So if you want to know all of my thoughts on this product, I've tried it for the last week. Every day I've been using this product. If you want to know my thoughts, if you want to see it in action, if you want check if you want to help with your shade, then keep watching. Okay, so here we have the brand new Seamless Skin Enhancing Tint from Lisa Eldridge. Available in 18 skin adaptive shades, it will set you back £37 for 30ml of product. Described by the brand as a fresh, luminous and light coverage tint in a feel-good formula made up of 78% skincare ingredients for replenished, healthy and plumped looking skin. The unique hybrid formula of the enhancing tint works to seamlessly even tone, lift shadows, tone down redness and boost luminosity. Ultra lightweight texture delivers a burst of hydration while simultaneously delivering blurring pigments to perfect and even the skin tone. Skin is soothed, smoothed and strengthened. The tone perfecting crease proof formula means it also works like a dream under the eyes. And so here is that ingredients list. If you would like to pause, then you can check those out in more detail. Okay, so if you are looking for some help when it comes to choosing your shade in this skin tint, I was sent the shades T6 and T8. T6 is a more neutral undertone and T8 has that bit of warmth to it, but a very natural warm undertone. Okay, so here I have swatched the skin tints next to some of Lisa's foundation shades that I own. So we have the shades T6 and T8 in the skin tint and we then have shades 9, 17 and 19 in her foundation so hopefully that will help. I will say shade 9 of the foundation is very very close to the T6 skin tint and then shade 17 is very close to shade T8. So hopefully that helps you if you know your foundation shade. But I will say that the skin tint shades are very forgiving. They will work for, you know, a range of skin tones because it is a very sheer, very natural, lightly pigmented product. So you aren't going to need to perfectly match your skin tone and your undertone because it will be adaptable to a range of skin tones. So you don't need for it to be perfect. At the moment, T6 is a very good match for me, but I can also use T8 and have a bit more warmth mixing them together also works so yeah I don't think you need to panic so much when choosing a shade with this as you would you know a more full coverage foundation okay so that is all of the information and shades swatched for you let's jump into the demo and see how the skin tint looks in action okay so the instructions do state to shake well and you can hear that little ball in there that's gonna mix all the product up beautifully. And Lisa advises using a small amount, just two to three drops should be enough to do your whole face, which is amazing because you do get a full 30 mils, although it's this really lovely, compact, very, very travel-friendly packaging. There is a full 30 mils in there. So using just two or three drops with this skin tint, it is going to last you for a very long time you are really gonna get your money's worth. I cannot detect any fragrance whatsoever, not a sort of skincare scent, no perfume, literally no fragrance whatsoever. So good news for anyone who's really sensitive to fragrance because I cannot smell a single hint of anything. Now it does have a very liquidy runny texture, so I would not recommend using a sponge with this. It's going to be best either with a brush or with hands, but you know I can't touch anything. I cannot stand touching makeup. So of course I'm gonna use my brush. But what I don't mind doing, especially with this, is using a finger to just dot it on. That I'm okay with. So I'm gonna use my Sonia G Jumbo Base. This is the mini travel version. And I'm just going to, those three little dots, I'm just going to blend. By the way, this is hair dye, <laughs> as you can tell. I had my hair dyed yesterday and some staining has occurred, okay? 
So that is just a very, very, let me do a little boop up there as well. I mean, it blends very, very quickly, very, very easily. No problems with the blending whatsoever. And it just disappears into the skin. You aren't going to need an exact perfect shade match because it's a very natural, very light coverage. You know, exactly as it says on the tin, this isn't a skin tint in disguise of a foundation, it's a skin tint. It's going to give you a tint to the skin, blur some imperfections, even up some skin tone in the most natural, seamless, invisible way. Okay, so I did three drops on here haven't even barely touched the amount on the palette and done half of my face and can you see how much the redness the discoloration is evened up it's so easy to get a lot of perfecting a lot of evening out of skin tone this is very very effective at cancelling out redness discoloration but still seeing everything else seeing your skin seeing beauty marks, seeing that beautiful skin texture showing through, but really toning down any discoloration, which I love because that's exactly what I want a skin tint to do. If I want to wear a foundation, I wear a foundation. If I want a skin tint, I still really want to look like myself. I still really want to see skin showing through. That's the whole purpose of a skin tint. And this does that beautifully while really toning down redness and discoloration and evening everything up and just giving it this beautiful soft focus finish okay let's even up this side I definitely have more redness on this side so i'm going to start do you see how easily it cancelled that out that was quite a bit of redness on this side i don't know why i don't even sleep on this side so i don't have an explanation for it but I'm using the smallest amount. And although it's not right relying on coverage, so it's not just covering, you know, heavily covering that redness, it's really canceling it out and neutralizing it. So much more even. Amazing. And still a lot left on my palette. So I'm gonna build this up slightly just where that redness is still showing through a little, see what we can get in the way of coverage. And that is everything on my palette now used up. So I used the full three drops and I've got what I would still say is very much a light coverage. So here is the starting point. So natural, so flattering as well. It's got this beautiful soft focus effect to it and it's got that luminosity, but it's not you know, dewy. It doesn't look oily. It doesn't look shiny. It's this gorgeous, just a bit of glow to the skin and like life to the skin. The amount that my redness has been evened up with like the minimal, lightest, most natural coverage is delightful. So as Lisa says, this is not a tinted moisturizer. So you must go in with your usual skincare routine before as you would with a foundation before using this. It's not gonna moisturize your skin like a moisturizer. So go in with your, use your skin prep. I use my Tom Ford Shane Illuminate Primer today, but I have used this on top of my Tom Ford Soft Matte Primer and also had zero issues. It just depends what primer you would prefer, but I haven't had any issues with any products going either before or after this skin tint. It works beautifully with everything that I've tried. And just that really small couple of drops with such a natural bit of help to the skin. Everything is just so much more even and fresh and awake and glowy and full of life. I think it's so flattering. This is going to be such a great product for more mature skin, especially if you want something really natural. You really want that no makeup makeup look. And you wouldn't need to do, you know, I wore this 
the first day with like basically a full face of other products and it looked glorious, very natural and beautiful, but you could absolutely wear this just on its own. It hasn't got so much coverage, you've got to balance things out. You know, you could just do this. You know, I'd put a bit of lip gloss and go with just this. I've left my under eyes hanging out there because I'm going to go and do a little bit more makeup so you can see how it looks with the other products on top. Be back in a mo. Okay, so I've added a bit of the Gucci concealer. I wanted to use a more natural concealer today to sort of work beautifully with this skin tint. So I've used the Gucci and then I have gone in with a little bit of the new YSL bronzer and then I used the Dior Coral Highlighter to kind of blush and highlight in one. And this is my makeup for today. So I've gone for a bit of a fresher, more natural look today to really show off the natural quality of this skin tint, but it looks so beautiful. The finish hasn't really changed as it's kind of had a bit of time to dry down. You've still got that beautiful, natural, you're still seeing that skin showing through and you've got that little bit of glow. It doesn't fully dry down to like a matte finish or set or anything like that. You've still got that beautiful, lightweight, does not feel like anything on the skin. You cannot feel it at all. It's completely weightless, very, very thin, light feeling on the skin, which I really appreciate. And it just looks so natural. Literally like you wouldn't know that I was wearing any kind of base product today, but my skin just looks a lot more even of tone and the redness is really toned down. You can still see my melasma peeking through and my melasma is barely showing just yet. I've got some beauty marks that you can still see showing through, but the texture of my skin just looks so buttery, that really healthy, just had a facial skin with that soft luminosity that's not too much, that's not too shiny, and it's very, very flattering on texture as well, but it's just uber natural. It's taken away all of the things about my skin that I'd like to tone down without taking anything else away from that natural skin look and feel so natural, so pretty. So let's have a look at this skin tint in natural daylight. This is from a different day, not from today, so different makeup here, but this is freshly applied in natural daylight. And then this second video, you can see the skin tint after about four hours of wear. Really not showing any signs of wear at all, just a slight change in the lighting there. And then finally, this is the skin tint as it was looking at the end of the day, not in natural daylight, unfortunately, because there was none left to have. This was at about 6 p.m., so about eight hours of wear. A long day, we'd been, I had swimming lessons with my children, so it had been, you know, in the humidity, in a very hot environment. I'd been running around all day and it was still just looking so softly natural. This is just not what my skin would have looked like at the end of this day, if not for this skin tint, because especially in, when we go to swimming lessons, my skin gets very red. My rosacea thrives in that environment and this really kept everything toned down, very natural and fresh, but very even and beautiful. You know, it doesn't sit in smile lines. It doesn't emphasize forehead lines or texture. It's so perfect in this area, it's so light. You know, you're not getting any gathering or creasing because it's such a barely there texture and it's just so flattering and beautiful. So I have been playing with these skin tints for the best part of a week now. I've worn them nonstop ever since they arrived on my doorstep, but very excitedly. And I am really, really enjoying them. It is such a good does what it says on the tin product, which I feel like is very, on brand for Lisa Eldridge. You know, she doesn't make super bold claims that she can't back up. She tells us exactly what the product is and that is what it is. It is a beautifully natural skin tint, so light, so comfortable to wear, so easy going, but very effective at cancelling out and neutralising redness and 
uneven skin tone. It's very, very flattering on texture and lines. A very, very nice product for more mature skin, but it also holds up. It wears really beautifully. It doesn't have a load of SPF in it that can, you know, affect the wear of base products. I find typically it works beautifully with products that go before and after it. And you can actually build this up a little to like a light coverage, or a very, very sheer coverage. So it can be as natural as you want, but you can definitely get quite a bit of discoloration and redness covered with it as well. It's very, very good at neutralizing those tones. It sits beautifully on texture and fine lines. It doesn't soak into smile lines or emphasize. It never looks heavy or dry. In fact, you just can't see it at all. It is like undetectable on the skin. Perfect, no makeup makeup. Very, very comfortable, very, very light, uber natural, but with just a little bit of help. It gives you a bit of life to the skin and it really does perfect and beautify your skin while still showing your skin, your skin's texture and beauty and all those little bits of your skin that you don't want to hide, like beauty marks, like freckles can still show through without the bits that maybe we'd like a little bit of help with, discoloration, redness, rosacea, things like that. So beautiful, such a great product. This is going to be amazing in summer as well. Really going to help to even up my lighter skin tone on my face when my body starts to pick up some color in summer but without changing anything without me needing to go back in with like a full face of concealer and bronzer to even everything out it's just going to give you that beautiful bit of boost to your canvas and bit of glow to your skin really beautiful finish not too shiny or oily not too glowy just a perfect bit of fresh healthy luminous youthful glow what's not to love, you know? So there you have it. Those are all of my thoughts on this very exciting new skin tint from Lisa Eldridge. Please let me know if you have tried it, what your thoughts are, if you're excited to try it. Is this kind of product what you love? Is it something very different for you? Let me know in the comment section down below, but I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, and I would love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye.